Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. And for your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we are making a glass canister set and a tray. For this project, we are using bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree. And I'm using my garden shears to cut my skewers to size. My largest skewer will be two and three quarter inches and we need one piece. For the following sizes, we're going to be using two pieces, one on either side of that first skewer. The next size down will be two and a half inches, two and a quarter inches, then two inches and so on until we get to one and a quarter inches. Each canister will be taking four sets of our design. So we should have four sets of those. Now that we have all our pieces ready, let's start working on our first canister. I'm using a small mirror from the Dollar Tree and I'm finding the four quarters so they can be even. And I'll just go ahead and use my hot glue to attach my skewers. I'm starting with the longest skewer on each mark. Make sure that they're even so when your canister is sitting it won't be wobbly. If you have one that's not so even just use a piece of sanding paper to um, sand it down. Now that I have everything even I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my skewers. I'll start with the two and a half inches one on either side of the skewer and work my way down. Make sure to use a small amount of hot glue, but if you have some showing on the front, just use your X-Acto knife to cut the excess. Now I'll add the design to the rest of the three sides and here it is completed. I'll be showing you how to make one canister and you can make as many as you'd like. I'm making a three piece set and this is for a coffee station. I'm using this jar from the Dollar Tree with this lid. And I'll add a small piece of my painter's tape to the center because I'll be adding a knob in the center. I'm going to be spray painting them with my Rust-Oleum Gold Spray Paint and I'll just rest the lid on top of the mirror and spray paint it just like that. Now that they're dry, I'll go ahead and remove that piece of tape and I'm just going to use my strong adhesive. I used Fix All but I ended up using another adhesive for this part and I'm just attaching my knob. I left that overnight to dry so we're done with the canister and I'm going to be making my base. I have this piece of leftover wood, plywood, half inch plywood and I'm just going to cut it in two so I can have the length that I want, 18 inches. I'm attaching the two pieces with my Gorilla Wood Glue. I allowed that to dry and it got tacky a bit so I could get to cut the design on the edges and I'm just using my X-Acto knife to cut the design. I'm filling in the crack with some wood filler. Then I use my sanding paper to sand away the excess. I allowed it to dry and I'm using my white paint, my latex white paint to paint the top side. I switch from the brush to the foam. I don't like the brush stroke. I'm just painting it in a stippling motion and I prefer the texture from the foam instead. I'm going to be attaching some gold foil and I'm using my tacky glue to do so. I added a small amount of water to the tacky glue just to make it flow easier. And I'm using my brush to apply my tacky glue and then I'll add my gold foil. And I'll add my gold foil going all the way around on the side and also in the cutout areas. Now here it is, I left it to dry for a few hours and after it was dry, I'm using my brush just to brush away the excess. I'm going to be adding epoxy to this tray so it can look like our inspiration. I want it to have a marble effect. 
just like the inspiration photo. You can get this straight on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description box below for you if you'd like to buy it instead of making. But if you like to save money like myself, then go ahead and follow my steps. This is the epoxy I'm using and two measuring cup and I'm also using alcohol ink. You don't have to use the same epoxy, Dollar Tree cell epoxy and I'm just using three ounces. I'm going to be using white ink and gray ink and I'm also using a heat gun. After I mix my epoxy then I separated just a small amount for my gray just to add the veins. Now I'm adding my white. I raised my tray on top of two candle holders just so I can get underneath to take off the excess that may spill over. I'm just using my hand to spread the epoxy on the tray on the sides on the edges i'm trying to make sure that it will flow easily and i'm trying not to waste too much of my epoxy now i have a few bubbles i'm just using my heat gun to pop them now i'll go ahead and add my veins with my gray epoxy just thin lines and I'm trying for them to flow naturally. I did this once before, but I'm not a pro at it as yet. It's a fun hobby, but it's also expensive. But as I said, the Dollar Tree sells epoxy, so you can use the Dollar Tree epoxy if you ever seen that one. And for the base, you can also use tower blocks. And the Dollar Tree also sell 18 inch wood that you can attach two of them together and get the same result as mine. I use my finger to wipe away any excess so it wouldn't flow under the base too much. I left it to dry for 24 hours and here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. For this project, we are making a two-piece wall decoration and we're using the tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. I'm using my yardstick as a straight edge just to line up the pieces and I'm connecting six tower blocks for each row. And for each frame, we're going to be making eight rows of tower blocks. So this is one, that's the second one, and we're making four here. And then we're making another four. So we have eight total. Then I'm going to be connecting two tower blocks for our frame also. And I'm using my wood glue to connect the two tower blocks. Just try to get them straight. And we're making four pieces of those. I don't have a square. If you have one, go ahead and use one now. So you can have your frame nice and straight. So we're gonna connect our four sides, just overlap the ends so we can have a perfect square. So we should have two squares from our eight rows. And between those two squares, we're going to create our frame with our four pieces. Now add the second square on top. Just like our inspiration and this is also available on Amazon in case you want to buy instead of DIY. I'm not a fan of the seams but you can go ahead and leave it bare if you'd like it like that. To cover up the seams on my frame I'm going to be using my tacky glue along with sand. I'm just using my tacky glue to go all the way around my frame. And then I'm adding my fine sand and this sand is from Dollar Tree also. Now on the base, you want to make sure that you clean it very good before you place it to dry. And this is the back. That's the only side that we're going to leave bare. Now I'll place it to dry for a few hours. In the meantime, I'm working on the rest of my design and I'm using the small skewers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use my garden shears to cut my skewers down to size and I'm cutting them in five inch pieces. 
My goal is to get this part of the design to be about 11 inches or frame is 12 inches. I'm working on top of a silicone surface. So I added my hot glue to the surface and I'm placing my skewers. I'm making a T first and then I'll continue to add the skewers. I'm making sure to place them in the center of the previous skewers and I'll just continue going around. Now I'm done adding skewers for this layer. To elevate the rest of my design, I'm adding some tower blocks going all the way around. And we're making three levels of skewers. So I'm adding more hot glue in the center and then I'm placing my skewers in the center of the previous ones. Now that row is completed, we're going to be doing our third row. I'm also using more hot glue to lock the skewers in place. Now our second row is completed and we're working on our third row now. And I'm doing the same thing with our tower blocks. For this row, I'm placing the skewers to line up with the first set of skewers. Then I'm using my hot glue to lock it in place. Now it's dry, I can remove it from my silicone base. Now I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my coat chrome and that's a silver reflective silver from Rust-Oleum. And I'll spray the back first. Then I'll flip it over after it's dry and I'll spray the front and before the paint is dry I'll add my glitter and I'm adding silver glitter. Add the glitter right away because the spray paint dries very fast. And we're doing that for both pieces. Now our frame is dry. I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Matte Black and I'll just spray paint the frames. And I'm also spray painting the underside because that will be showing. We're going to be adding mirror and the underside will be showing. Now here's our frame nice and dry and here's our mirror. This is 12 inch mirror and it fits perfectly. Now here's what I was talking about with the sand. Make sure you get the base nice and clean before you place it to dry so you won't have any sand to scrape off. To add my mirrors to my frame, I'm using double sided adhesive and I'll just place eight pieces on all the corners and it's very strong so it holds them very well. Now it's time to add my silver design on the center and I'm just using my hot glue. And I'm also covering up that center area with a two inch mirror. To hang my design on the wall, I'm using these picture frame hooks, one on either side and use a strong adhesive for this part. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. I'm making a vase. I'm using one of these candy jars from the Dollar Tree. So I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut out that top area so we can have an opening to place our flowers. I'm going to be spray painting this with my Rust-Oleum white gloss spray paint. Just wipe them clean before you spray paint them. And I'm spraying the lid with my coat chrome. Here they are nice and dry. And I'm adding hot glue to cover up those two holes. Now it's time to add some embellishments and I'm using this silver chain. I'm just gonna go right in those grooves with my silver chain. And I'm using my hot glue to attach my chain. Of 
For this vase, I'm also adding silver foil and I'll be using my tacky glue to add my foil. And I'm just using my brush to place my tacky glue where I want my foil to be. And I'm doing sections at a time and then I'll add my silver foil. I allowed that to dry, now I'm brushing away the excess. Now I'll place my lid back on top and I'm also adding these beads and glitter. So I'll go ahead and use my same tacky glue to add my beads. And I'm placing a thick layer of my tacky glue, that way it can hold the beads in place. I'm going to also add this chunky silver glitter from the Dollar Tree. Now that's looking nice, I'll place it to dry. And here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. I'm using this chain from the Dollar Tree. And this is the glow in the dark chain, but I'll be using this chain to make decorative chain for on top of the books. And I'm also decorating a vase from this chain. I separated my chain and I'm using my matte black spray paint to spray paint them. And I'm also adding a, a clear coat of my spray paint also just to protect the, the paint. I'll be using this square wood plank from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting it black. And this is just for the base of my vase. And I'm using this cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree also. And I'll spray paint on the inside with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White. While that's drying, I'm going to decorate my chain pieces. And I'm using this gold tape. And I'm just going to place the tapes going right on the edges of those knots. I'm going to leave the knots exposed. Just try to lock the tape on itself and it holds better that way. And I'm adding the tape only on the chain pieces that are locked. So every other one will have the gold tape. Now I'm attaching the pieces back together. Just try to open it as wide as you can to protect the paint. Now this is for one side of our vase and I made two pieces. Okay, that's to decorate our vase. Now I'll just place each piece right on the side of the vase and place my vase on top of my wood plank and place my flowers inside. Now for the rest of my pieces, I'll just attach the pieces back together and I can use this chain to decorate uh, my coffee table or my console table. And here's how this turned out guys. Let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any one of them. Please I'm asking you to give me a thumbs up if you like at least one of these projects and share this video with someone that you think may be interested. Thank you so much for watching. Here's my previous video on the screen. If you missed that one, just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye bye.